In our everyday lives, we are often unaware that we are surrounded by millions and billions of tiny microorganisms. They are all around us. They are in the soils, they are in water, and even in our bodies, you can find millions and billions of microorganisms. These microorganisms carry out very important roles in the environment. And among them is the cycling of various nutrients like carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfate. Here in Environmental Microbiology Laboratory, uh, this nutrient cycling by microorganisms is our primary research interest. Particularly, we focus on the aspects of nutrient cycling that relate to emissions of nitrous oxide, which is a very potent greenhouse gas with 300 times higher global warming potential than carbon dioxide. There are many different reactions that relate to nitrous oxide emissions. For example, nitrification, the oxidation of ammonium to nitrate, releases nitrous oxide as a byproduct. And denitrification, which is reduction of nitrate to nitrogen gas, releases nitrous oxide as a stable intermediate. And there is nitrous oxide reduction to nitrogen, which is basically the only uh, sink of nitrous oxide in the environment. Where these reactions occur, who carry out these reactions, and how they interact with each other determines how much nitrous oxide is produced from a particular environment. It is crucial that we know more about these factors affecting nitrous oxide dynamics to take appropriate actions to reduce this potent greenhouse gas to the atmosphere. In our laboratory, we do a very broad range of research activities aimed to understand these processes better. We do a lot of lab works uh, where we culture uh, microorganisms and environmental samples under different conditions and measure the amounts and rates of nitrous oxide produced or consumed. We also design, build, and operate a lot of different bioreactors of varying configurations. Uh, the purpose of it is to mimic the environmental conditions better or to perform bench tests for environmental bioreactors under development. For example, we recently invented a bioreactor system with which we can remove trace nitrous oxide in off gas streams of uh, various wastewater treatment systems. Bioinformatics is also a large part of our research. Uh, through analysis of microbial community using amplicon sequencing, we can find out who are there. Uh, through metagenomics analysis, uh, we can analyze the metabolic potentials of these organisms. And through metatransicatomics or metaproteomics analysis, we can find out to what extent these potentials are materialized. All this information is extremely useful in interpreting our laboratory data or environmental monitoring data. Our research is not just limited to nitrogen cycling and nitrous oxide emissions. We apply the various techniques we gain from this research to find solutions to other important environmental issues. For example, we are applying the bioinformatics techniques um, to drinking water systems to understand the sparse microbial populations and uh, potential pathogens within the drinking water. If you want to know more about our lab or our research, Please do not hesitate to contact me or my lab members or visit our lab website at eml.kais.ac.kr.